Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be doing my nails. Um, I'm just going to be doing one hand today. Um, and I took this inspiration from the last set of nails that I did on Pamela. Um, the index finger on her I was just absolutely obsessed with. So I thought, I wonder what it would look like if all of them were like it. So I've gone in and prepped my nails. I've applied my Glitter Planet Easy Tips and I've just trimmed the edges and gently filed the sides. I then went in with my CJP Acid Bond and now I'm going in with Flawless from Nail Nails and I'm gonna be creating an extended nail bed. So all I'm doing is picking my first bead up, draining the back of the bead, placing that on the nail and then bringing that up to create my extended nail bed. And I pat that up using the belly of my brush and then use the tip of my brush to shape. So again, going in with my first bead at the cuticle area, making sure it's nice and flush. Then I'm going to pat that up using the belly of my brush and use the tip and the side of my brush to put that into shape. We want a nice deep smile line. French isn't my, um, my forte really, I'm not that great at French. Whenever a client asks for French, I'm always like, oh no, what am I going to do? But these actually turned out quite pretty. So I'm going in with a little bit more here just to make sure um, that my smile line is nice and thick so that we've got a nice wall to push the coloured acrylic up to. I'm not that fussed about the shape because I will be going in and filing it before I do anything else. So I just play around with that until I'm happy with it. And then if I feel like it needs building up a bit more, I'll go in and add some more of the nude acrylic. So what I will do is I've sped this part up now. So I'll let you guys watch this and then I'll jump back on in a second.
So once they were all set, I just went round the smile line with a 100 grit nail file just to make sure that it was nice and crisp and also just over the surface of the nail. So this is what they look like once they have been filed. Now I'm going in with Blue Velvet from Glitter Bells and I'm placing that against the extended nail bed. But what I'm doing is making it a little bit thicker towards the smile line and then thinning it out. So as you can see, it sort of creates like, um, let's say like a hill. <laughs> it's like a dip. I don't know how to explain it. But you want more product at the smile line and then blend it out so it's nice and thin on the actual tip of the nail. Um, and what this is going to do is when you file these nails, this is going to create almost another smile line. Um, and it will be another smile line on top of this smile line with this colour. <laughs> I hope that makes sense. Almost like a shadow. So I'm going to do that on all of the nails. So making sure that it is nice and thick towards the smile line and then dragging it up. Then here I've just picked up a bead of blue velvet and a bead of beetle green at the same time. And just placing those on the nail. This is just to have as a base colour for all the pretty things that we're going to be putting on the nail. So it doesn't have to be perfect. You can just go in with one colour. It's absolutely fine. But I just thought I'd go in with the two colours. So again, going in with blue velvet, making sure I'm pushing that right up against that smile line and then blending that out down the rest of the nail. And then I will go in with my two colours. So on the ring finger, I thought I'd change it up a little bit. So I'm going in with beetle green, applying that at the smile line. And this is just going to create a different colour on the ring finger where the two smile lines will meet. But then I will go in and do exactly the same on the tip of the nail that I've done on the previous nails. And then I'll wait for all of those to fully set before I do anything else brush that I'm using is of course the CJP Big Boy brush. I'll link everything in the description box below along with discount codes um, just in case you want to grab any of the products that I've used today. So this is what all the nails look like now. So what I want to do is I'm just going to, once they've fully set, I'm just going over the surface of the nail and just removing any of the colour that's on the nail bed before I do anything else. The reason I'm doing this is because I want to, once I've put all the um, pretty things on, I want to be able to encapsulate all of the nail and not have to do too much filing. So I'm just filing away and just getting rid of all that mess on top. 
And then once I've done this, I'll get rid of all of the dust and clean the nails, making sure there's no dust that's going to get stuck in there with the design. And then I'll move on and do the design. And this is what they look like once they have had a quick file. So now I'm going to go in with a small bead of CJP crystal glass and I'm just placing that on the tip of the nail. And then here I'm going in with some broken up pieces of, this is called Mermaid's Tail and it is the sheet shell, it's so hard to say that, from Glitter Arty Nails. So I will link that in the description box below, they do all different colours. And I'm just placing that on the nail in areas where I want it. So with this, you can literally just break it up into pieces. You can cut it up into pieces. It's so easy to work with. So I'm just going to place that on the nail and then wait for that to set a little bit. And then I will go in with some other bits and bobs. So now I'm just going to go in with some really small bits of gold leaf and I'm just placing that on the nail in the areas where there is no shell. Um, basically just filling up the spaces. Um, just apply that to where I want it and then I'm going to go in with some iridescent glitter and this just really sets the nail off. It's absolutely stunning. So I apply this using a wet bead of acrylic. And again, I'm just going over the areas where there is less of the shell and just placing that there. Then I will let this set before I go in and encapsulate this nail. So I'm going to do that on every single nail in exactly the same order. So I have sped this bit up or else this video was going to be long. So I'm going to shut up and let you watch this. Going in, on this nail I decided to use some tweezers because the pieces were a bit bigger and it was just getting a bit fiddly. <laughs> so I'm just placing the shell on with some tweezers. Then once I've placed the shell, I'll go in with my gold leaf and then I'll go in with the glitter and wait for them to set. So I'll let you guys watch this bit and I'll jump back on it in a minute.
this is what the nails look like once everything has been added. So now I'm going to go ahead and encapsulate all of the nails using CJP crystal glass. I place my first bead at the um, smile line of the nail and drag that towards the cuticle area and then pat that up over the rest of the nail. And then I will take another bead, place that at the free edge of the nail and blend that down. And then I'll just keep going in until I'm happy with the thickness and the apex. And then I'll let that set before going in and filing the nails. So once I'd encapsulated all of the nails, I then let them set and now I'm going to go ahead and file these nails. So I'm using my Melody Susie nail drill and I'm just going over the surface of the nail just to remove all that bulk um, and go around the cuticle area to make sure it's nice and flush. And I will also take off a little bit at the end as well. Um, and basically this is just going to save on your arm being tired because <laughs> it was a lot of filing, especially on the middle finger. I don't know what went wrong with the middle finger, but um, yeah, but this is where everything starts coming together. All your sharp lines come through and it just all starts to look beautiful. Don't know what happened to this finger. So here I'm just going underneath the nail as well because there's quite a lot that has leaked over the side. Um, so I'll let you guys watch this bit because you don't want to keep hearing me say the same thing. So once I'd finished with the e-file, I'm then going to take my NSI 100 grit nail file and just refine the shape of the nail and just go over the surface to make sure it's nice and smooth. I really need to go down to the salon and get some files because this one has completely had it. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to file the nail, making sure it's nice and sharp on the sides and it's a nice shape and just make sure that those lines have really come through where the smile line is. Then I will buff over all of them using a buffing block and then just wipe over them to get rid of any dust using some rubbing alcohol. And then we move on to the best part of the video, which is the top coating. This is what the nails look like once they have been filed and buffed and the dust has been removed. This is before top coat. I actually really like the matte, to be quite honest, but... We need to bring all that shininess through. So I'm going to go ahead and top coat these using the Nail Lounge Collection's Ultimate Gloss Top Coat. And I'm going to apply this to all of the nails and then we're going to cure it for one minute under my LED lamp. If you're using a UV lamp, you need to cure for two minutes. And Just look how beautiful they look. Oh, I do just wipe down the sides of the nails because I used quite a bit of top coat. And it leaked down the sides and made them look a bit of a weird shape. So I just run my finger down. Really, I should have a glove on, but I don't have any gloves here. So, yeah, I don't. But I'm just going to top coat all of the nails here. I was trying to top coat in a different angle to make it look better, but it just didn't work out. Um, yeah, so I'll let you guys finish watching. Thank you so, so much for watching. And I can't thank you enough for your response 
on the last video I put up as well. Um, all your comments are just amazing. But yeah, thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you're staying safe. Don't forget to check out the description box below for links and discounts. If you're on Instagram, please check out my profile. I'll leave a link in the description box. Have a lovely, lovely day and I will speak to you all soon. Bye.